All right, destructive testing. So this, yeah, that's what happened. Um, the front fell off. Uh, it's not supposed to happen, but you know. We were testing a bunch of different rounds. We were shooting um, factory loads. We were shooting uh, the 3D printed rounds. Um, and basically, the 3D printed rounds shatter when you fire them. They, they, they turn into a whole bunch of little pieces. They're, they're PLA, um, so it's a really brittle, brittle plastic, and I don't have basically a sealed, a completely enclosed chamber to hold them in there and hold the plastic pieces. And so what was happening is, as we fired, um, bits of the shell and parts of the, the explosion uh, came out of the back of the barrel and blew away uh, parts of the, the trigger guard up here. And uh, eventually under recoil, when we were testing, we were proof testing, really. Um, and uh, we were proof testing on one of the last round that we fired, ripped the trigger guard off, and uh, the gun would still fire again. I mean, yeah, it would have still fired again, but um, your grip would have been really sketchy and it wouldn't have been safe to use anymore. So, yeah, I'm going to show you what was happening as we were shooting, I'll show you right now, we were, we were shooting 3D printed rounds and it was chewing away at this here. Um, and you'll, you'll see kind of how this began to fail and then eventually it just culminated in, in with firing the proof loads, it just ripped the trigger guard off. So, um, that's an okay failure, I mean, this, this whole thing is 25% uh, infill, um, so I didn't expect a whole lot from it, and uh, it actually fared extremely well considering. Um, so, yeah, I don't think there's any, anything else before I'll, I'll show you some of the, the destruction right now. So here we go. This was a uh, this was three grams. Of, this is basically a triple charge, uh, 12 gauge printed round. Um, the gun itself is mostly okay, but bro, we've actually been tying. We had a piece of paracord right here. My thumb is um, in there. And we basically had a piece of paracord running there to the front to keep the recoil in check, and that finally failed on this. Really, it's not even totally solid part. You can see right there. It's, that's 25% infill. So, and we've been, <laughs> we've been blasting the hell out of this thing all night. So it finally failed. Um, you can see there the paracord. We did have this up in here. Um, the top of this is finally getting chewed up too. I mean, I suppose it's not super surprising it finally failed. It's not even, it's not even solid. I mean, I mean, I do feel pretty good about it. But this, this gun is, uh, it needs a new lower. Oh, that's interesting. Wow. Check that out. So, even the, the lugs are not solid printed, actually. Um, they're 25% they're okay, let's, um, let's take this one apart and we'll go we'll take it back in there. Uh... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's supposed to go on right there, and we basically ripped it off. And uh, that happened for a couple of reasons. One, um, we were firing uh, 3D printed rounds, 
which um, you would call it case head separation if it was a, a brass round, um, but it doesn't really apply because it's plastic and they just shatter, they're, they're, they evaporate. Uh, not evaporate, but they, they turn into a lot of little bits. Um, but when that was happening, um, it was eroding away at the top of the trigger guard here and eventually it just failed. It didn't have the strength to stay holding on. It yanked that, that, uh, that front end of the trigger guard off and, um, you know, that, that's kind of an okay mode of failure. You're not supposed to have that much force on there and we beat the hell out of that gun that, that day anyway. So, another variant here. Pair of cord dangling off of it. Um, so I've got these two. These two gun designs. Um, this is kind of my hacker version with uh, basically an easy to remove forend. And uh, I plan on swapping out different barrels in there and doing like a 9mm barrel. And um, We'll see, there's more, more to come on that. But uh, that's kind of the fancy version. Um, but here's the, the simple version. Um, and this is designed to work with a 12 inch threaded rod. So you can just go down to the store and pick them up. Um, but yeah, so in the last test, uh, the thing that I was really excited about is that this setup here worked. That barrel locking mechanism. Um, I have some printed locking lugs in there. There's a little four-lobed locking lug system. The track for it to slide down, and the lugs are actually held onto the barrel with a double shaft collar. Um, so anyway, the big test was around that, and it works pretty well. Um, I also have something kind of cool that's been in development, is this uh, charging handle. Um, it's kind of how you charge the gun. Before I had that weird string thing, where you, you pull it back and... and uh, you can cock the gun without drilling any holes, really. Um, and that's, that's not a good option. This is a lot better, so you just have a lever here. Oh, it's already cocked. Three. Right? So now this gun is a gun. Like, you could kind of use it. Uh, there's a few things that I want to fix, though. Um, for instance, this thing isn't locked in place or anything. So I'm going to need some way to lock that into position. Um, and I also want a safety. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to put that in the grip, or I could probably use the charging handle here um, to, uh, to kind of make a safety. We'll see what I end up doing. But I just need a safety, and I need a way to uh, lock that barrel locked in position. Um, and then I think I need an extractor, and I'm really doing pretty good. This The shotgun would be... Um, at least for a single shot, done. Um, and then I can work on other things like the revolver, or I've been working on a, an AR project here. Um, so I've got this little thing here, and it's sort of working, but i got to get the magazine in there. So it's not done yet. It's just one of the things that I've been working on. Um, I have the cocking lever here. Um, that will automatically, um, I don't know, cock the trigger. Shit, start over. Start over. <laughs>